is being PC the same as being polite? As someone who fights on the side of free speech, I'm the first to tell you, we do have a tendency to strawman political correctness. You may have heard things like, Damn snowflakes just don't want to be fanded. Or, They want to suppress the truth, man! And though I agree in PC culture's worst form, all these things are true. Those aren't the actual arguments they make. So let me arm you with the intellectual tools you need to successfully contribute to this discussion. And if you're PC, listen with an open mind, and maybe I can change it. One argument that's actually made is that political correctness is just a boogeyman term invented to lash out against polite society without seeming crude or uncivil. That what we call political correctness is actually just politeness, and we simply don't want to be polite. But this is just plain wrong. There's a difference between being PC and being polite, and I can prove it. Let's look at an example. Jim and Jill. Jill doesn't like racist humor because it offends others and because she doesn't want to be a jerk. Jill is polite. Jim doesn't like racist humor because he believes that problematic social attitudes inadvertently contribute to the upholding of systemic power structures that strengthen systemic bigotry and subconsciously influence us to commit acts of violence. Uh, what? Let me break it down. Jim believes when you say bad words, you contribute to negative social attitudes, which cause others to commit acts of violence. For example, trans people have a high suicide rate. When you question modern gender theory, misgender someone, or commit another similar microaggression, you contribute to a culture which marginalizes non-gender conforming people and increases their suicide rate. This may sound convincing, until you realize this logic can be applied to any group if you're willing to make the same kinds of assumptions. Veterans and soldiers have a very high suicide rate and aren't well cared for, but we can still criticize US foreign policy and military action. We even burn flags. Young men have a very high suicide rate as well. Shouldn't male bashing be a hate crime? We can do all the same mental gymnastics to make either case, and whether or not you're taken in by them, it's clear that the motivations for being PC and just being polite are different. Jill doesn't want to upset or alienate anyone with her use of language. Jim believes that stumbling across the improper uses of language is tantamount to violence. Jill is a nice person. Jim is an ideologue. Jill is polite. Jim is PC. I'm polite. And I'm PC, okay. You know, there's no difference between us, really. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, I want people to be polite, but I don't want to ban impolite speech. Neither do I. That's just an insane straw man argument. Name one country where PC people have gotten any forms of speech banned. You mean besides Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Chile, Croatia, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Iceland, Ireland, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Sweden, Switzerland? Don't be PC. Be polite. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here on YouTube and check out Fee on Facebook as well as at FEE.org. Thank you so much.